Hey everybody, it's Caitlin from Pared Down. I'm gonna do a short video today on my zero waste freezer. Now, this isn't a topic that I thought that I would ever um, do a video or a blog on, but funnily enough, I've had more than a couple requests and questions about what do you do for this or for that to the freezer? Most recently, my uh, brother's fiance emailed me and said, what do I do for storage solutions if I wanna have a less wasteful freezer? So anyways, I just thought I would do a short video, show you my freezer. So, as you may or may not know, one of the uh, core concepts that, or philosophies that we uh, follow and pared down is to use up everything you have first. We do not believe it's truly following um, a zero waste philosophy to just get rid of everything you have to replace it with sustainable items. Um, so that's what we do. I use up my old Tupperware. Um, I acquired some new old Tupperware recently when we moved out to Toronto. My brother was moving out of our suite and he had placed a whole bunch of brand new Tupperware into his recycling bin and I was like, what are you doing? And I wouldn't normally have chosen that Tupperware or Tupperware for a future um, sustainable purchase or whatever, but he was just going to recycle it and it was brand new and so I rescued it. And so I use Tupperware. I use a lot of mason jars for soups and stews. The thing you need to remember with that is to ensure that there's enough room, an inch to two inches between the top of your uh, stew or soup, whatever it is you have, jam, chutney, um, and the lid, just so the jar doesn't crack. And you need to make sure that it's cooled. So I usually leave my soup cooling on the stove top overnight or in the fridge, and then I transfer it to the freezer afterwards. Another thing that I like to use, or used to use in the past, actually don't have any right now, is I have a bunch of friends, actually a lot of my friends, especially families, are Costco shoppers. Um, and they buy those pre-made lasagnas or pastas or, or whatnot in these large containers that have the plastic snap-on lid. Now these are meant to be single-use, but they are fantastic for multi-use. And I used to ask my friends uh, for extras that, and I would put uh, crumbles in the freezer. Uh, they'd be great for pasta dishes and for lasagnas, for casseroles as well. Um, the only thing that I would caution with that is potato I find doesn't do well once it's thawed. The consistency of it changes a little bit. So I tend not to freeze my soups if they have pasta, or sorry, if they have potato in them. Um, yeah, the other thing that you may be surprised to know that I use is plastic bags. I had a plethora of plastic bags when we decided to go zero waste. And before investing in bulk bags or reusable produce bags, I actually washed and hung my bags out on the line for probably 18 months to two years. I'm sure my neighbors thought I was crazy. And I invested in reusable produce and bulk bags once my bags started to sprout holes. Um, that was a little bit embarrassing when your coffee beans are spilling out onto the floor or you've got rice or something that's like a constant stream at the bulk store. So yeah, those bags are no longer used in the bulk section, but I do have about five or six um, going strong that I use in the freezer and I use that for spinach. I wash uh, spinach and put it in the freezer for our smoothies. I use it for bread when I come home if I think it's going to be in the freezer longer than a couple days. Um, things like that. So um, that being said, let's have a quick peek at my overly exciting freezer. Let's go. Hello fridge. All right. So my freezer is not overly exciting. Here we go, so there's my spinach. This was actually a huge bag that came from those, I think they're like eight kilogram boxes of berries that we used to buy. Um, so that, that's great, I can fit a ton of spinach and actually take up this whole compartment with just spinach. This is one of my plastic bags here. I think I have about three to five plastic bags and I actually just have, that's one of my reusable bulk bags. So I take that to the store. What is in here? Oh yeah, these are sandwich buns for Phoenix's lunch. And then I have a loaf of bread that we need to use. So I knew we weren't gonna get to those um, right away. So anyways, here I've got, there we go. We've got some tomato sauce. I think that one of these is tomato soup. That's our magic bean bag thingy that you heat up if you have cramps or aches and pains. 
here I just throw in my, um, this is my almond meal from making almond milk. So I don't waste my meal, I save it up. It's great in the freezer. Once it thaws, you can make a fantastic cracker recipe. Um, oh, it looks like that is more almond meal, so I should probably get on making some crackers. Uh, here we go. So here's some of my Tupperware. That's from berry picking with the kids. In the bottom one is strawberries. Um, homemade pesto. I love these Bon Mama jars because these lids fit on different types of jars. These are my ultimate favorite jar. If you live in BC, you should be feel so lucky. I can't find these big. I think they're one kilogram Adams peanut butter jars. We're a peanut butter family. Um, and so I would buy, I found peanut butter in bulk here in Toronto, but I couldn't find it in bulk in BC. So I would buy these massive Adams jars and I would use them afterwards for storage. So in here, this is actually spinach. I can't quite twist the lid off, um, but this is the older spinach. This is, I'll use this first. Um, and that's my newer spinach. And here is more blueberries from our picking. And I actually have more blueberries. There, any berries I find, you can pretty much just put them straight in a container. Any other fruit that's going bad, I just actually lay it on a tray. I break bananas in half, um, and I find they don't stick together that way. Peaches, um, once they're frozen, you can throw them in a container, um, and they go straight in the smoothie. So, oh, there's one more thing. This, you might be wondering what this is. This is actually my compost that I don't want sitting underneath my sink. So I have a Bokashai bin and I put a lot of my um, veggie scraps and stuff in there to use in my garden. Uh, but there's other stuff like bones or cooked foods or, or things that I just wouldn't want sitting under my um, sink, especially on a hot summer day, because um, it gets stinky and you get fruit flies. And so I keep it in the freezer and then I just pop it out in the... I pop it out in the compost on compost day. So let's just take a look at my fridge because I think I am gonna add a few more things to my freezer today because I've been on a bit of a soup kick. Um, our family eats a lot of soup uh, this time of year. So I actually have like four jars of broccoli soup. Looks like we finished the butternut squash soup that I made yesterday. We're gonna be eating a lot of pumpkin soup because I've got a few pumpkins out on the stoop that need to get used up. And I've got some stew here that I made for Kevin. So I think I'll probably pop a couple of these um, broccoli soups into the freezer as well as the stew. And there's enough room here that I'm confident I'm confident that these jars won't crack. So that is my zero waste freezer. Um, the only other tip that I might be able to offer is I've read about, I haven't tried myself, um, a sort of a more sustainable, I don't know what makes them more sustainable, reusable Ziploc bag for the freezer by a company named Blue Avocado. So like I said, I haven't tried this myself. Um, I'm not endorsing it, but if you're somebody that doesn't like to reuse, although you'd be surprised how many times you can wash and reuse your Ziploc bags, I, I challenge you to try it, um, that uh, these bags by Blue Avocado are actually designed to be washed and reused, and they're designed specifically for the freezer. So if you've got any tips, uh, feel free to uh, share them with me. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, um, to our channel, and uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up. Okay, zero waste freezer. Who knew? Bye.